two-headed duck once there lived two ducks in a lake called ganga their names were mitra and saumitra they were childhood friends and always stayed together all of the animals of the forest were quite amazed by their friendship one day a rabbit said friends we all love to see you both together like this such friendship is very rare in fact you both are two bodies but one soul your friendship is very intense and pure the two ducks were happy to hear this one day mitra said friend i really liked what the rabbit said about us if our bodies become one it would be great wouldn't it so mitra replied you are absolutely right and it is quite possible i know a way to make this possible from that day both of them started doing severe penance season after season in fiery storms and heavy rains their penance didn't break after many days they achieved success and a goddess appeared in front of them i am pleased with your penance i am impressed by your faith and devotion now you may ask for the boon you want o oh mother we both are childhood friends we cannot live without each other we want you to make our two bodies into one you have a strange wish if you have separate bodies your friendship will remain forever but if your bodies are joined then you will have to face many problems it will create a rift in your friendship but mother it is your duty to fulfill the wishes of your devotees we are already good friends but if our bodies are joined then the bond will become more stronger please grant us our wish thereafter the goddess blessed them and their bodies became one but their heads remained separate the goddess is so kind to keep our heads separate so that we can talk to each other then for a few days they had a jolly good time the other animals were surprised looking at them then one day they came across a piece of meat mitra said it has been a long time since we ate meat i'm fed up eating only fish saying this he picked up the piece of meat in his beak you are right even i am sick of eating fish every day it's good to have meat for a change let me have a bite too why should i give i found it and what does it matter whether i eat it or you eat it we both are one you eat what you like and i will eat what i like after all we both have one stomach on saying this he swallowed the piece of meat this made somitra quite angry then one day while eating a fish mitra said why do you keep on asking your share every time didn't i tell you that you eat whatever you like and i will have what pleases me at the end it goes in a stomach then saumitra thought of teaching him a lesson while passing through a forest they sighted a poisonous fruit saumitra quickly picked it up in his beak mitra immediately scolded hey what are you doing it is poisonous we will die if you eat it but you said we can eat whatever we like i found it So I'm eating it. So what if it is poisonous? It is my desire to eat it, so I will. Don't waste my time by talking nonsense. You will eat it, but it will go in our stomach, and we both will die. Don't be crazy. All the time before, you ate all delicious food. You didn't give me anything. Now don't stop me. And so Mitra swallowed the fruit. Have you gone mad? Now we don't know time we both will die. We are living in one body and according to me it is the greatest problem. I don't want to live with you in this body any more. Let's go to the goddess. Then they prayed and pleaded the goddess to come before them. So the goddess appeared. They both told the goddess about their problem. On that the goddess answered, "Didn't I warn you before? You used to be such good friends. Now look, you quarreling with each other the reason for this is unreality unreality gives rise to many problems 
unreal friendship, unreal love, false attachment. It all leads to discomfort and unhappiness. That's why you should never cross your limits. After seeing this, she once more blessed them, and Mitra and Sumitra got back their separate bodies. So, friends, the moral of the story is: we should always stay away from unreality. Unreal love, unreal friendship will give you nothing but grief. Golu lived with his wife and children in a village called Sonpur. He had a very difficult life. One day, when he was going to the forest to cut wood, he saw a golden elephant trapped in a net. He immediately cut the net and freed the elephant. The golden elephant was very pleased and said, Thank you my dear friend you saved my life i will give you a piece of my golden tusk sell it and with the money you get you can live a better life and in future if you need anything at all just let me know seeing this the golden elephant gave him a piece of his tusk golu went away happily with that money he paid off all his debts when all the money was over Golu once more went to meet the golden elephant. He told the elephant about his problems. The golden elephant said, "Don't worry, my friend. I will help you again. Here, you can have one more piece of my tusk." This way, whenever Golu was in need, he went to the elephant. Soon, with the money, he built a big house. He stopped working and started drinking and wasting time with his friends. One day his wife Kamla said, "You are gambling away all the money. What about our children and their future? Please have some shame." "Shut up. Don't try to teach me. I know how to earn money and spend it. Don't come in the way of my happiness," said Golu angrily. His wife was upset. "What do you know?" Every time you need money you go to the golden elephant but how long will this go on what if one day he just goes away what are you going to do then you're angry but absolutely right really if that elephant goes away then what will happen to me i must kill him and get all the gold from him oh no it is a great sin he has helped you so many times you mustn't treat him in this manner don't do this papa Please don't do this. It's not good. At that very moment, the golden elephant came outside the house and started trumpeting loudly. Everyone ran outside. The golden elephant said, "My dear friend, do you know what great mistake you were going to do?" On hearing this, Golu was a bit afraid, but the elephant said, "Don't fear." I was just joking. Nowadays you don't come to meet me. What happened? Why don't you come towards the forest? Oh, nothing. I was a bit busy in my work. Actually, today I was thinking about you a lot and was just going to visit you. But good that you have come here. Now come and have some refreshments. The golden elephant was shocked and scared. Friend, what are you doing? Leave me. Let me go. Your intentions are not good. Why should I leave? Why should I come to you every time and beg? If I will kill you, then with the money I can live my entire life comfortably. Now just stand quietly. The golden elephant was very angry. Within a second, he caught Golu in his trunk, lifted him and flung him far. He was once again going to fling him. when golu's wife and children came running to his rescue have mercy please for the sake of my children spare him said golu's wife don't kill my father we beg you please let him go looking at the children the elephant calmed down he then released golu from his trunk shame on you what kind of a person are you for your kids i am letting you go You were going to kill the one who helped you in your difficult time. Anyways, it was all my mistake to help such a cruel man like you. 
I am leaving this forest and going away from here forever. Henceforth, I will never befriend any man. On seeing this, the elephant went away from there. What did you learn from the story? That too much greed is not good. At the end, you will only get grief.